I was recently talking with a current client about optimizing their Roth conversions. And we all want to optimize everything we do. We want to make it as perfect as possible for our situation. You know, when I'm training for a race, I may be following the same basic training schedule that someone else is following, but then we will each be adjusting that based upon our current level of fitness, our goals for the race, maybe whether we have some injuries that are nagging issues that come along, and even time schedules. So it's the same with Roth conversions. When you're looking at how to optimize Roth conversions for your situation, it has to be thought through in light of your current situation and your future situation. What are the things that you need to be aware of in order to optimize your Roth conversions? You need to first of all be aware of your current tax bracket and your current income and how that's going to flow through your tax return. How much income do you have to have just to cover your lifestyle before you can begin to do Roth conversions? Then you need to think through the stages in the future. What stages will you be going through? And it's not just the fact that uh, taxes are going to go up in 2026. Taxes may go up even more than that in other periods of time. That is one issue to be considering. But other issues to consider are what are the years that you're going to hit required minimum distributions for each you and your spouse? What are the brackets that that's going to push you into in those future years? And what are the other time frames beyond that? What's your, the survivor of you two? Uh, when might that occur? How long might that last? Because at that point in time, you're going to have what's called the widow's tax. The survivor will be paying taxes as a single filer, no longer as a joint filer, and so that will create a much higher tax bracket at that point in time. For some couples, that may be a very short period of time. You may be similar age, similar health. For other couples, it could be a longer period of time because you may have a bigger age gap or a bigger difference in health or family longevity. And then what are the tax brackets for your children or other heirs that are gonna inherit? Uh, that for some of you, your children may have lower tax brackets than you have. It may be going to be split up between a lot of children. For others, you may have children who are very high earners, have very big bonuses, and you may have fewer children that you're going to split that IRA balance up between. And so thinking through all of the different brackets in the future is going to help you consider how to optimize your Roth conversions. The other thing to think through is your Medicare IRMA brackets and where are you at in that and where will you be as you go along? What bracket are you going to be in now and in the future uh, and each of those time periods? So as you think through that, what you want to do is consider again, as I've said before, what are the taxes that you're going to pay and you want to bring that in line with each other as much as possible. So you're not paying a lot more now, not paying a lot more later. Uh, you're trying to optimize that and level out the taxes that you're going to pay over your lifetime so that you can minimize the total lifetime income taxes paid. For some of you that'll be easy, for others it will be more difficult, but those are the things to think through. And I hope that's very helpful. If you'd like to get more tips like this, please be sure and subscribe to this channel. You can also find me on my podcast, Retire on Your Best Path with Liz Whittaberry, because I'm here to help you be on your best path.